about two to three years ago, my section chief at the Atlanta VA encouraged me to become an AHA member. I didn't really know why. I'm a vascular surgeon, and it's just not one of the typical meetings that we go to on the circuit of meetings that we go to every year. He put in a very good push, <laughs> so I became a member, and I quickly found out why. He felt that this would be a good opportunity for me. I was very quickly placed on the PVD Council's Early Career and Fit Committee and became a member at that time. And now, not even two years later, two and a half years later, I'm the vice chair. It was an organization where I kind of found myself, found my people, as it were. I felt as though I was, I was allowed to um, be myself in a space where a lot of people like me were not present. There are various ways in which I've benefited from AHA membership. I think probably the one that is most important to me are the connections that I've developed with individuals who are not vascular surgeons. A lot of my day is spent with people who do vascular surgery because that's what I do. But when I'm at the AHA or when I'm working on different committees or council priorities, I meet with individuals who are vascular medicine specialists, who are cardiothoracic surgeons, who are cardiologists, who are neurologists, a wide array of different people. Many individuals are nurses, many individuals are investigators and not clinicians at all. And many of the individuals that work with us as well are patients, which is an amazing opportunity that I haven't had at other organizations that I'm part of. So I've really enjoyed the connections that I've created. I've really enjoyed uh, hearing different perspectives on how to attack the same issues that I'm passionate about. And that's a lot of the benefit that I have derived from the AHA. I remember the very first time that I actually went in person to the scientific sessions. We show up at this huge convention hall. You feel like a very small person in a very large room filled with, uh, you know, hundreds and what feels like thousands of people. And you very quickly find out after walking around for the first day that you're probably one of maybe five to 10 vascular surgeons there. You know, there's not very many of us there. But I felt welcome in every space that I walked into. I think the thing that I value the most about being a, an AHA member is the ability to really be on the forefront of eliminating disparities in peripheral artery disease, care, and outcomes. As an individual, it feels like you do a whole lot of work and you might do a lot for your patients, but you're not doing a lot on the population health stage. But when I became a member of the AHA, I really saw things at a level that I just could not see them as an individual who treats PAD. And I've been very grateful for that opportunity, for the networking that has been cultivated through that opportunity. I was just having a talk with an individual in this committee meeting, and we were thinking, you know, over the next 25 to 50 years, where would we like to see the AHA have its biggest impact. And what our group kind of came up with is we would like to see cardiovascular disease and stroke no longer being the leading causes of death in America. And what I'd like to see for the next hundred years of AHA is us making that a reality. I think the, the biggest way that AHA membership has helped my career is being able to form networks with individuals that I probably would have never met had I not become a member of this organization. When I started my career as a vascular surgeon, I had a passion for limb salvage, particularly in structurally marginalized communities. And I still have that same passion. I just approach it a little bit differently. You know, when I started, I was working nonstop doing all these procedures, making sure, you know, all these things are tied up from a uh, medical management standpoint for all my patients with chronic limb threatening ischemia. And while that's very important work, work and the boots on the ground are very important, what the AHA kind of showed me is, you know, where are things happening on a larger scale? And while I as an individual can do a lot for my patients individually within my own uh, network, it's really important to be a part of these organizations that are doing things on a population health level and really moving the needle for populations and for communities, particularly structurally marginalized communities.